relationship. <laughs> huh? She, she chased me to uh, Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> In the film The Notebook, it starts with a narrator explaining how he is a common man who lived a common life but loved another with all his heart and soul. The two characters in the film always reminded me of my grandparents, Ross and Jean Salino. It's a film about the ultimate love story. In a coffee can, throw my Growing up, I've only ever seen my grandfather successful an owner of a law firm, a beautiful house, antique cars, always traveling. I never knew about his humbling childhood, being raised on a farm. As a boy, waking up at 4 a.m. to deliver newspapers, three to four miles a day on foot, I never knew about him getting married at 19, having children, working multiple jobs, all while going to law school. I heard stories about him being a collegiate wrestler and ranking 14th academically out of around 2,000 students. I always knew he worked hard, but never understood how hard. With countless achievements like graduating from UB Law in 1956 to being on the board of directors for Ecology and Environmental Corporation, the list goes on and on. He has always worked so hard to achieve his goals, one of his greatest accomplishments are his children. Nine. Wonderful children. Pictures all over the house, always talking about how proud he is of them. Over the years, we've all learned so much from my grandfather. Invest, invest, invest. While that is important, more importantly, was the way he doors his wife, Jean. I always saw him as a tough, scrappy, hard-working Italian. My favorite thing was hearing my grandmother yell Ross from across the room and seeing him pop up. Mid-sentence, he would get up and immediately see what his wife needed. He let everyone know she was the boss. Now that I think about it, the film The Notebook doesn't even come close to the love story of Ross and Jean Salino. probably was the only time we were together with those mates because my husband just wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was, he was near me constantly and it's been 66 years and he's still right next to my side constantly. 